Blender beveling. This is Edward Chuka, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to bevel the edges of something like this simple table uh, in several ways, and uh, you can choose the one that you like the best. Okay, so for now, we are going to start a new document, and I want to make this into my tabletop. So if you click this tiny little arrow, up in the upper right hand corner here, you get a bunch of options. And uh, my table is going to be two meters in the X, only one meter in the Y, and just like 10 centimeters thick. Okay, so that looks much more like a table right there, tabletop. Okay, now I want to bevel these edges because they're really sharp and you wouldn't want that on your dining room table. So there's a couple of options. First of all, you can try making a modifier uh, with the bevel option. And it's going to kind of cut it off in a hard way at first. Uh, you can change the amount. Maybe I would go to 0.2, for example. Uh, but in order to make it really round, you would want to have more segments. Uh, 10 is a reasonable number. Uh, however, when I tried this, uh, I didn't like the look of it. It bevels it according to the dimension. So in the X, it was 2 meters long. So it beveled it more. In the Y, it was less. And then also... In the Z, there was beveling as well. So it tapered this down just a little bit as well. That's not what I want. So I'm going to cancel that one. Now, another way you can try to do it is by hitting tab to go into edit mode and then do edge select. And now I want to get my verticals. So if I hold the shift button, I can get those two and then I'll twist it around and then I can hold shift again and click on these two. So I have all four of them. There is a bevel tool on the left. Here it is, bevel. And you can pull on this little yellow toggle to determine the amount that you want. And also it pops up a brand new little menu here. You can set the amount. I'll try 0.2 again. Okay, and go to 10 segments at least, I would suggest. Uh, but still, it's kind of not... Um, doing what I want. It's not evening it out. It's doing much more in the, in the X than the Y. At least it's not doing the Z at all this time. So it's getting closer to what I want, but I don't want that as well. I'm going to go control Z and control Z again to undo that. And so what I am going to do is press tab to go into uh, object mode. And now if I clicked object and apply, and then rotation and scale is a good one here. And so that gives me uh, some tools. Uh, first of all, I'm going to select my edges. Oh, I have to put tab again. And then I get my edges. I think I had them all. Okay, I've got all four selected. Good. All four were still selected. Excellent. So if I release that and now I go to my 0.2 for the amount and 10 segments, it's actually doing what I want. This is now evenly beveled. So that is what I wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and just accept that. And then now I'm going to do the top and bottom. I do want it beveled a little bit, but just a little different than the way it was happening before. Uh, face select, grab that top, and then hold shift, grab the bottom, and then now I can pull on this little yellow tool just a little bit. This one maybe 0.03 is a good number. 10 segments once again, and I like that. So I'm going to accept that one. That looks nice on those, those corners. Perfect. Okay, now just to finish this off, I will... Go back to object mode and I'm going to press shift A to add a mesh and then I'm going to add a cylinder for the legs. It comes in really large to begin with. Uh, I'm going to taper that down. It's the radius. I only want like 0.05 maybe and then the depth maybe 0.8. Okay, now the location needs to be fixed a little bit. So I could go to maybe 0.8 eight in the X and maybe 0.35 in the Y and then the Z, I think 0.45 would get me up there. So I think I, I like that as well. So that's good. And then I just want to have multiples of that. So I'm going to add a modifier. Uh, and this time it's the mirror modifier right here. And if you click this little eyedropper, then click the cube itself. It's going to make a nice copy in the X direction 
you can also select the Y direction as well. And I'm happy with that. I've got my table. It is uh, ready to export as an STL. So when I export it as an STL, just know that Blender for some slicers only exports it in millimeters, even though I designed it in meters. It was supposed to be a two meter long table, but it would only come out two millimeters unless I, I changed this. So you could either multiply it by you know a thousand to really bring it back up to scale, or I'm planning on doing a one to 50 model. So 20 is the magic number. Uh, that will um, put it to the scale that I, I want. So I'm going to call this B table example and export. And now when I'm in my slicer software, I can open that up. And here's my fresh STL file, open it. And that is perfect. That is 40 millimeters long, which at a 150 scale would equal two meters across. And there we have it.